I'm Senator Bob Huff. Thank you for joining me for my capital comment for the week of November 21st, 2011. You recall when we were fixing the budget, when we balanced it so legislators could get their paychecks, uh, we sprinkled a little pixie dust and we came up with $4 billion because there was no rational way to come up with it. Well, the legislative analysts has weighed in and guess what? We're about $3.7 billion short. Amazing how that works. So this is setting us up for the so-called trigger cuts. There's $2 billion uh, in education. Other cuts are $100 million to University of California. Same for CSU, Department of Developmental Services, uh, $100 million for in-home support services, $72 million for juvenile justice. A lot of numbers, but keeping in mind that there's no will to really make those cuts. Uh, and I say no will, I say that by the majority party because the, the language of the budget actually says that's the maximum they can cut. So there can be a minimum, and we don't know what that is. My guess is we roll that in the beginning of the year and we start solving for the budget as soon as the governor comes up with his January numbers about mid-January. Mid also what's happened recently is we've come up, we've heard from a new group called Think Long Coalition. Actually, I don't think we have to think too long about this. There's some big names in it, but the bottom line is it's a $10 billion tax hike. They wrapped it up in a lot of good things, but like my mom used to say, you can go out to the garbage pail and find some good things in it, but who wants to dig through it? In this case, we'd have to take it all or nothing because it will probably come on initiative. Several billionaires behind this group. It's a bipartisan group. They'll have the money to put it on the ballot, but I don't think we want to go there. I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Senator Bob Huff.